Welcome back everybody to Final Fantasy XIV Online with Rosalo Serafina. This is episode 104. I notice I've got some little um, white dots down here on my bar. That just means I have some materia I need to extract. Let's get with that. And we also have some over here. Nope. Try that one. There we go. Let me also just move my head over to here. Though that will be a pain later. I know sometimes I think I should get rid of it entirely. Don't need to see my mug. And we update our thing. There we go. Someone unregistered. I want to check in my backpack. Just see if I've got no, I don't have any materia on me. Alrighty, well that answers that question. Radio. Let's go. I believe we were delivering Frixio's missive to Vosei Hulua. Alrighty. We need to be a little bit more proactive, I think, too. In other things over here. Ah, if it isn't Rosalor. How went the meeting with the Sylphs? Uh, well... Oh, they went, it went this well. Here you go. A missive from the Sylph Elder himself, if I may. So, the Sylphs have no desire for conflict, nor do they intend to summon Ramu. As long as we leave the Tempered Ones, we need not fear any aggression on their part. The Elder Seer will be overjoyed to hear that the Sylphs have welcomed our overtures, and in the knowledge that they bear us no ill will, we may channel our resources towards tackling the more conspicuous threats to our security. You've done this nation a great service, my friend. On behalf of all Gradanians, I give you my thanks. You're welcome. Oh, uh-oh. Story quest. Well, let's see what it is. Back from the wood. Commander Hulwa appears to have more to say. Uh-oh. The Sylphic folk have long been friends to Gradania. The mere thought of being at war with them pained the Elder Seedsia to no end. But owing to your efforts, she'll be able to rest easier. Being the benevolent soul that she is, my lady will surely try to find a way to reverse the tempering process. Cool. Once again, I think you had the si you ha Let me try that again. Once again, I thank you. Had the science of the Seventh Dawn not offered to mediate between our people, suspicion and doubt may well have led us into needless conflict. Pray pass on my regards to Lady Minfilia. Oh, speaking of which... Hello? Hello, Rosalor. Can you hear me? It is I, Minfinia, Minfilia. Ida and Papalimo returned some little while ago, and they wasted no time in regaling me with the tale of your exploits. Thanks in large part to you, the name of one primal may be struck from our list of enemies, and the Cradanians may turn their attention to more pressing matters. Well done. Yet the end of the tale is but the start of the another. Pray return to the Waking Sands at your earliest convenience. I would apprise you of the present situation in person. Oh dear. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so... I know, I've... I played this character and because, because my recording times are often... Um, truncated or, or, or con constrained to certain times. I don't always get to that. I have another character that I play that I'm moving ahead with so I learn the different roles a little bit better. Um, it's really good. Now what I want to do here is I want to find my um, Vespa Bay Etherite tickets. We're going to use one and we are going to pray return to the Waking Sands. Let's go. I know I've got a few quests. It looks like I should be thinking about bringing down my number of quests as well. Uh, horns of the green. Okay, so that would be a crafting. I, well, I do need to work on my crafting. Um, maybe I should also work on mending my gear when I remember to. So we'll just drop in at the merchant mender and we'll repair our gear. Just repair all. It's, it's not a lot. I, I did come back from one set of battles. With, with my healer where we'd been. It was a really tough fight. And um, I, I don't know how many times we all died. We died so many times. And part of it was my fault because I just 
could not coordinate all the attacks because I was so busy trying to keep everyone alive I'd forget to look for them or I wouldn't react in time um, yeah but part of it was it was just an incredibly tough fight and we um, we did eventually beat it but my gear was like two and a half grand worth to repair it hmm Tataru well if it isn't my favourite adventurer welcome back Bozalor Lady Minfilia awaits you within the solar please enter at your leisure so I'm also learning uh, the value of and the difference gear makes. So we're going to have to really look to the gear that our characters have got. Um, so yeah, so that's the other reason I started building crafters in with this. is because I wanted to be able to make good gear. Here we go. I'm given to understand that the matter of Ramu has finally been resolved. Hmm, I fear resolved bespeaks a permanence we cannot rightly claim, yet I am well satisfied that the Lord of Leaven will not trouble us in the foreseeable future. Your satisfaction is assurance enough for me. How fares the investigation? Well enough, Thancred is sparing no effort. They are many, and one, just as you suspected. Their purpose, however, eludes us still. Hmm, I see. Ah, I've been meaning to ask, but is Alice quite well? I feel as if I've scarcely seen her in recent days. Oh, you haven't, and nor have I, alas. Alice has chosen to walk her own path, stubborn girl, but you may be assured that our destination remains the same. And on that note, I take my leave of you. I trust the Baldessian report will serve you well. Oh dear. I take it we can proceed as discussed. Why do you ask? You scarce need my permission to act. Ooh, I wonder what went on there. Well, that doesn't look good. He seems to be upset. It's good to see you again, Rosalor. I've been looking forward to congratulating you on your triumph in the Twelveswood. Owing to your efforts, conflict has been averted. Truly, you have done the Scions proud. With that, we can strike Ramu from our list. So who's next? The Sahagan and Leviathan? The Lord of the World has not answered his minion's call of late, nor is he expected to do so in the near future. While the Zahagan remain as aggressive as ever, they lack the quantity of crystals required to call forth their god. As with the Sylphs, we can leave them to their own devices, for a time at least. Huh, for a time, bears repeating, we can ill afford to fall complacent. It is, as Ishtola says, unless we know the minds of the beast tribes, we cannot predict with any certainty when next a primal will return to plague the land. This being the case, we must proceed with as much haste as prudence allows. Any word on Titan? The maelstrom keeps the kobolds under constant observation. We shall hear of them ere long. You may depend on it. Indeed. So, of all the prima, primals that have been active in recent times, we're left with... Gridania! Wait, I mean Garuda! Who is the primal of the Ixul who lived near Gridania? Yes, that's what I meant. So many marms to cover. Would that there were a more efficient way to conduct our surveys. Were he still with us, we should not long have wanted for a more practicable solution. She's not wrong there. Where in the world are you, Chief? <sighs> but one short step at a time. Henceforth, the Order of the Twin Adder will handle all matters pertaining to the Sylphs under the sage guidance of the Seed Seers. I bid you all enjoy a moment's respite. You have earned it.
Is there something else, Rosalor? You summoned. Beg pardon, a man named La Habrea, sporting a red mask and robed in black. Twelfth preserve. Prior to the calamity, the Asians, the calamity, the Asians took great pains to remain hidden. Why would they choose to cast off their veil of secrecy now? God, this bodes ill. We must take advantage of the present lull in primal hostilities and investigate this La Habrea. Learn all we can of him and his designs. I dread to th <gasps> Eek! Oh no, well, I'm not screeching like Tartaru. I don't think anyone can screech like Tartaru. Oh no, I wonder what she's up to. Aww. A sylph in Thanalan. At long last, this one finds walking one, Rosalor. See <laughs> the Pebblemo's face. This one is most dependable of these ones. Is sent, is sent by Elder One Frixio to help walking ones. This one is called Norexia. This one comes as a friend. Let these ones be friends. I get Tartaru. <gasps> Hi, P pleasure to meet you, Norexia. to the waking sands all right let's go all righty there's Thancred. looks a little down can we talk to him ah rosalor pray do not concern yourself with my welfare my current investigation has yielded some curious results and at present i'm pondering how best to proceed okay he seems all right then Let's go. Uh, no. We just left this. Oh, no, we do want to enter the solar. Okay, I see. Let's get to it. Yes, enter the solar. Alrighty. We are level 42. Once we hit level 60, we're not going to be able to earn any more um, experience for our summoner, our scholar, or our arcanist. Because until we finish a realm reborn. Because that's that's where the cap is. So at that point, we're going to have to go back and pick up another class and bring it up to speed and continue through the story quests. As I discovered the hard way. Yes, Tataru is ready to express her fright as she is to express everything else. Not all of us are forged of the same steel as you, I'm afraid. But it takes all kinds to make a family and it pleases me to no end to see ours continue to grow. One by one, the people of Eorzea are beginning to unite, Rosalor, drawn to the hope that shines within you. Yet a darkness threatens to engulf this light. Never have I doubted the Asians' presence, but that they have grown so brazen as to carry out their work in plain sight fills me with a deep sense of foreboding. It sure does. What did I... Oh, I got some more Vesper Bay Etherite tickets. I wonder where they kept coming from. <laughs> Minfilia would have you investigate the mysterious La Habrea in Shadow of Darkness. I'm afraid there is no rest for the weary, Rosalor. We must delve further into the motivations of the masked man, the Asian known as La Habrea. This is an ideal moment to do so, while our hands are not bound dealing with another primal. At present we know little and less about the Asians, only that destruction follows in their wake. I should not be surprised if these beings are behind the chaos that racks the realm. If my fears prove to be reality, we must do all in our power to stop them. Earlier I sent word to each grand company to solicit cooperation. The immortal flames responded to the effect that they have information on a potential sighting. This is intelligence that we can ill afford to ignore. Go speak with Flame Commander Swift at the Hall of Flames in Ulda to inquire further. How you go about the investigation thereafter, I leave wholly to your discretion. 
But whatever you do, never forget that we are dealing with the unknown. You cannot take too many precautions. Be safe, Rosalor. All right, let us go. And see what we can do. I'm actually quite excited for the for the next the next um the next DLC, the Heavensward DLC DLC. Really quite excited with that. And I'm also um because I've just finished all well, I finished the main quest through there and I'm working through the post Heavensward quest at the moment. But um I'm really looking forward to the next the next step after that as well. So it's interesting to have two different characters running. Um, they are running along fairly much the same lines, but I, as, as I'm going, I'm discovering flaws, <laughs> flaws with this approach. Okay, so we have a bunch of things, and to know whether or not they're worth checking into, we just go, okay, level 50, we're not level 50 yet. Level 47, ditto. And level 15, absolutely glamorous. Um, I don't even know what I have to be for that. Why am I? Why is it not highlighting when it's... Well, let's go find out. Why can't I continue with this quest? It requires a Disciple of the Hand class. Really? Well, I mean, I guess I can do that, right? 15, though. Let me just check in my jobs. Uh, Disciple of the Hand... So we could we could do this quest. Let's just pop into our into our botanist costume. That should unlock. Oh, that's land, not hand. What am I on? <laughs> Let's go back into here. Do I have any disciple of the hand stuff? Yeah, oh, look, all my disciples of the hand are above that. Let's become our weaver then. That should unlock that nicely. There we go. All right. Swergheim wants you to learn to, how to craft glamour prisms. Thanks to yours truly, you have a basic understanding of glamours, yes? I also understand you're no stranger to crafting this and that by yourself. It so happens that these skills can be applied to a singular cause. Would you be interested in helping to bring glamour to the world? By that, I mean learning to make glamour prisms, either for personal use or to aid the aesthetically underprivileged. I'll explain everything in due course, but there's something I need to prepare beforehand. Bring me some Othardian orange juice in the meantime, would you? Just ask Falkland, same as last time? Well, staring at me isn't going to get that orange juice poured any quicker. Hurry up, would you? Well, seeing as you asked so nicely, I think we found the orange juice over here at the Merchant and Menders. Uh, purchase items. There we go. And she wants some what? Orange juice. Alright, I'm... I, she said Athardian orange juice, but I don't think there's... Yeah, no, there isn't. Oh, there is bait in here, though. We should remember that for when we go fishing again. Radio, let's go. We should also have a look at our challenge log and start paying a little bit more attention to that, because that gives us a massive XP boost when we... Well, not a massive one, but a good one when we, when we do it. Don't tell me you're lost. It's only a few yarms away. I'd get it myself, but as you can see, I'm rather busy. Um, did I not get the... Oh, okay. It was the other orange juice <laughs> we wanted. Oops. Alrighty. We're in a carnist at the moment, aren't we? Before I talk to Falkland, let's, um... No, not that. I know, she's got no friends. That's fine. Dried plums will give me more spell speed, vitality, and direct hit rate. So I'm going to... Um, and also an XP bonus of 3%, which is really what we're here for. So we're going to right-click on that and use them. Feed our face up here in this top little corner here. We should have a food bonus happening. Then we'll talk to Falkland. Swergheim's still got you running errands then. And she wants a Thardian orange juice this time. Twelfth preserve. Well, here it is. I think she and I need to have a little chat about her tab. This order alone costs more than some of our big drinking regulars spend in a whole night. A Thardian orange juice is expensive. Check. Radio. Gotcha. I know, I, I just went to the orange juice stand. I didn't get the special juice. Here you go, Swergheim. You have my drink, I take it. I sure do. Some Othardian orange juice, as requested. Also, not your waiter. Now that's what I call orange juice. 
Eastern oranges have a bitter kick that truly invigorates the soul. Ahem, all that jumping around almost made it go down the wrong way. Anyway, before we begin, I have a confession to make. To be perfectly frank, my expensive tastes in orange juice have to be paid for somehow. While my intentions are sincere, my reasons for helping you are not entirely altruistic. Pass this letter to Goberin, the merchant, and he'll allow you to browse his Glamour Prism recipe tomes. If you buy any of them, <clears throat> he'll give me a cut of the profits. You'll have the knowledge you seek, and I'll have the money for orange juice. What could be more piquant? I'll also send word to my associate, Wiscard, in Revenant's Toll. We have a similar arrangement. I'm sure you'll find his prices just as fair as Goberin's. You should start with Goberin, though, since his stall's right there by the Pist Paishti. Once you've read one of those books, you'll be able to make the prisms yourself and share the glory of Glamers with the masses. All right. You know, I think I've completely missed this quest uh, with my other character. I'll have to go and have a look at her later. Goberin, crafting tome bender. Ah, I sense you come in pursuit of true elegance, and is that a letter of introduction peeking from your pocket? May I see it? Sure, here you go. Ah, so you're Swergem's protege. Yun, you wish to produce Glamour Prisms? Noble endeavour. My selection of tomes reserved for only the most deserving are yours to peruse. Ooh, I have I do have some coin. Let's see if I can actually afford any of these tomes. You may now purchase master crafting tomes from Goberin as well as Tataroga in Mordona. By using the tomes you can learn the recipes within. Uh, Alright, well let's give this a whirl. Ooh, glamouring items, prism collection. What? I don't want to I wanna well let's have a look at this. Okay, so these are glamouring items. Are these tomes? Yes. The esoteric tome contains woodworking recipes. Can I have that? Wait a minute. Is there like a glamour? All right, let's, well, I don't know. Let's, let's buy this. Um, we'll buy it. And then I guess we'll buy this one. And I guess we'll buy the armourer one. And we'll buy the goldsmith one. And we'll buy the leatherworker one. And we'll buy the weaver one. And we'll buy the alchemist one. Now it says master. I'm not actually sure if I can actually own them. So <laughs> let's find out. Here we buy clear prisms. Uh, used for crafting glamour prisms. Okay. And glamour dispellers used for getting rid of glamours. Alright. Okay. Now, um... Oh, Master Recipes. Alright, let's find out how these work. Seems we just bought a bunch of them. You have obtained a Master Recipe book. To learn the advanced recipes contained within, simply use the book in your inventory. The recipes will then appear under the Master category of your crafting log. Oh, all these reds. That's what that'll be. Alright, so use... So we've bought all of the glamour tomes off um now but is that everything or do we have to buy multiple ones to um to get it says unique contains advanced smithing so it's, it's multiple recipes so maybe i only need to buy things off him once i don't know i'll have to i'll have to look it up and find out Alrighty. So then I should be able to find it under the tab, right? So I have new level-based recipes. That's special recipes. These are our master recipes. I have glamour prism, so I need clear prisms and undyed velveteen. Is that... Oh, wait. Um, if I go to carpenter, go master. Okay, I see. Oh my gosh, look at these. So these are all, um, and then of course there's the ones I can't craft because I'm not high enough level. So the answer to my question is yes. You buy one of these master tomes and wow. So this is how people decorate their houses, I'm guessing. Oh, what do they need for that kind of thing? Like, wow. Okay. Oh. 
that's kind of exciting. So in smithing, um, under master recipes, look at this. Wow. All right. So that's what happens when you buy a master tome. You get special recipes. Uh, you go into armor craft. You can go into master recipes, and these are all the things you can make as an armorer with your master recipes. I'm I'm exploring, so I actually haven't done this, and I'm now kind of excited. Leatherworking, master craft. My goodness, cloth craft. I'm pretty sure we looked at that. Master craft. Alchemy. Master craft. Okay, the things in Alchemist. Well, I'm beginning to see that some of these are the same, so maybe I'm just looking into the same recipes each time. Although Leafy Lamp. Cooking. Well, no, okay, no, they're not the same. Wow, okay. So there you go. That's your Master Crafts and your Master Crafting recipe books. Uh, I don't think we can learn anything else from there. We are well on our way to getting our crafting going. I should probably get changed again back into our focus costume. There we are. We are going to speak with Swift at the Hall of the Flames, which means I should lift my mic up so you can actually hear me. We're going to go and teleport over here. I know we had a break for the dogs. Um, and so now they're both in and napping because they played. They played and they played. They play so hard, our two dogs. It's good for them. We're going to go see Swift at the Hall of Flames and uh, see how that's going. Like I said, I'm a little bit wary about getting things up to 60 because then I can't play with them. Well, I can play with them, but I just don't earn any XP by doing it. Um, there we go. There's Swift. Hi, Swift. The Masked Man. Are you come on behalf of the Scions? Of course, yes. As we've already relayed to Lady Minfilia, there's been a sighting of this rogue near about Eastern Thanalan. A brass blade stationed at Highbridge described him in detail when he alerted us to suspicious activity. I would point you to the witness, but I'm afraid he died not two days ago, slain by a marauding band of Chikern. Fate can be a cruel mistress. But do not be too quick to despair. Being situated on a trade route, Highbridge sees its fair share of travellers. Folk are always coming and going, and some among them may well have caught a glimpse of your target. You could do worse than to speak with a merchant named Hihibaru. The fellow is always starved for customers. He no doubt welcome your attention, whether or not you have coin or the mind to spend it. All right. Um, 50, let the hunt begin. 30, stuck in the moment. Now, why can't I unlock that one, I wonder? Okay, that one. The Way of the Samurai, that's level 50. Shadows Uncast, Immortal Flames. Now, some of these may not appear for you or may not become unlockable for you, depending on... Um, if you have the the expansions. Alright, I want to go to see the personnel officer. We're going to check into our um, our promotion prospects. You must complete rank 1 in the Grand Company objectives in your hunting log. A record show this fate eludes you still. Let us speak again when you've achieved the requisite rank. Really? I haven't done that? Oops. No, no, no. That's not what I meant to... Thank you. Go away. No. I know. We've had this this lecture before. Alrighty. Let me just go check my hunting logs then. Oh. Right. Alright. So, <laughs> that's right. We went in and we did the Halatali monsters. And I completely forgot that I had to finish, um, finish hunting down these as well. Alright. Well, you know what? We might actually do that. We might... Um, do that so that we can empty out a few things in our backpack all right so eastern thanaland sandgate and north shroud alder springs i thought if i clicked on these i could actually open a map to where they are oh wait hang on no i can't all right and the other thing we we're going to do is check our challenge log uh, which is logs, under logs, there we go. Okay, so completing three dungeons via duty roulette today, completing five dungeons. I've never done a guild test. 
Um, and I, I have often voted in player commendation, but I'm often, because I'm often caught in a cutscene, I tend to miss them. PvP, I don't know. <laughs> fates. Complete five fates with the highest rating possible. Radio. Lev quests with different lev plates. Right. Crafting and gathering. Grand company. Complete five and then complete ten. So the, this challenge log has 81 hours and 21 minutes remaining. Gold saucer. I really don't like the gold saucer. <laughs> Complete three mini games. Okay, so this is there. You do earn quite a bit of stuff from it. And these are the complete ones up for a challenge. Radio. Ah, uh, complete battles via duty roulette. With our summoner. Alright, but first before I apply for a um a duty roulette, I might just go and remind myself what my skills are. So to do that we're gonna do a um we're going to go and do a hunting log task. Eastern Thanalan is where we need to be. Let us grab our teleport. Um, do, 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 do. Eastern Thanalan. Camp Dryburn. And we're looking for a Meljar. You know, I know where they are. I do know where they are. Duh. All right, let's go find them. Oh, and I haven't checked out the Chocobo quest either. That's the other thing we had to do, wasn't it? My feisty little Chocobo. Uh, we also need to do Austerities of Earth. So, have a look at Austerities of Earth. They want us to go up to here and um, into the tunnels. So that's um, that's something we do need to do. That's for our summoner. Shadow of Darkness. We need to go to... Oh, that's in Eastern Thanland. That's not that far away. We might go and drop in on them while we're at it. But first, we're going to go down to the Amelja R Encampment with our Chocobo. So I need to swing to my left, I think it is. Here, chicken. Actually, it's not chicken. This one's called Fluffy. I know, because Turkey Legs is my <laughs> is my other characters. Um, I know. And we need to do Fates as well, if we come across any. So, um... Oh, I know. That's, um... A Thaumaturge. Uh, quest. Alright, the, the Amelja are somewhere over here, and if I remember rightly, um, this was where I was freaking out about a rather large monster that was up there. This looks like a fate though. Let's hop off our, our turkey and, um, and go talk to the flame scout. Ah, an adventurer, and one with fire in her eyes, no less. That fire is just what we need. Spurred by rumours of a new Amelja R commander, I arrived outside the Beast Tribe encampment to find not only that the commander has arrived, but the foul lizards are preparing to march on Uldar. A request for reinforcements has already been sent via Link Shell, but it will be several bells before they arrive, and by then it will be too late. No, we must stop the enemy before they advance, and since we're sorely outnumbered, I believe the only path to victory is to lower morale by targeting both their what? Oh. Okay. I did not have a lot of time to complete that fate, <laughs> and it ran away. That's okay. Well, while we're here, yes, as you can see, we, our hunters with a little moon above their heads. Well, uh, and this is the one where I use the lower right. And I forgot to summon the bunny. Oh, you quit. Oh, wait. It, it's dead. Wait, that's a level 50 Gatling. We're not going near that thing. What are we? Level 42. So these guys are just going to ignore me unless I hurt them. Alrighty. How many do we need? We need one more. One more Amaljar Hunter kill. I know, going through this at lower levels or levels closer to the Amalja R levels, you're just asking for trouble. Let's hit that with our, with our fire monster from death. There we go. <laughs> Don't mind me. That's incredible. Alrighty. 
We burnt 240 flame seals. Completed our hunting entry for the immortal flames. And started to remember exactly what we need to do that. Let's um grab the chicken. I know, right? Solo with the carbuncle. Oh man, I need to complete some more of these um these maiden story quests because my turkey is so slow. See, even the, the little aggro dusty mongrels are ignoring me because they know, they know I'm trouble. I, I want to know who told them. Away we go, past the Mitragus nannies. I'm also going to start taking a new approach to my crafting. We're not going to be saving up a bunch of stuff like we have been because they're just we will not have enough room unless we buy multiple, multiple retainers and I cannot afford that. Um, the, the Australian dollar to the to the euro is is not healthy. So Hihibaru, welcome to Highbridge Adventure. Whatever you seek, I, Hihibaru, can provide it. Probably. You're after a masked man? Oh, I'm not sure I have one of those in stock. Oh, you're after a masked man. Why didn't you say so sooner? Such an individual might have featured in one of the many rumours I've heard. If you linger a while, mayhap you'll learn a thing or two, eh? Sure, thanks, Hihibaru. Highbridge Times. Hihibaru wants to help you find La Habrea. Maybe... When the Order of Nalthar began excavating the ruins below, I had hopes that Highbridge would turn into a bustling hub for pilgrims, but thanks to the nigh-endless beastmen raids, folk are too afraid to come within a marm of here. I sold everything I owned to get my venture started, and I'm loath to give up without making an earnest effort to stick it out. But if things keep going as they are, I'll be bankrupt before the moon is through. Whining won't do me any good, though. No. For my business to survive, I need business. Speaking of which, perhaps you'd like to browse my wares? Spend a bit of coin to help a struggling merchant? The masked man? Bah! They'll take your bloody masked man. I know what I said before, but vague rumours are all I've got. If you want to know more about him, go and ask the other merchants. Wow, okay, well that's not a way to get me to spend coin at your shop. Struggling merchant man. Absent-minded merchant. On the trail of a masked man? Aye, I've heard of him, but only in harsh tones and faint whispers. It's said he wears a black hooded robe and looks right suspicious. And that's about all I can say, little though it is. It's enough to get you killed. Okay, come on, Roz, let's go. What have we got? An impassive merchant. Have I seen a masked man wearing a dark robe? No, I haven't, nor do I wish to. Business is bad enough without shady characters lurking about. Folk have been giving Highbridge a wide berth because of all the Chikern raids. None but the most devout of pilgrims are willing to come here anymore. Ah, uh, this is very true. Let us head back over here. Do I have a sprint button? Look at that, I do too. Let's get moving. Yes, I am going to jump off the cliff. <laughs> Laziness, it will get you killed. Multiloquent merchant. Aye, oh, I've heard tell of the masked devil. Seems he's been appearing not only around Highbridge, but elsewhere around Thanaland too. Enough folk have reported seeing him to convince me he's more than a figment of the imagination. But little is known about him otherwise. Alrighty. Fair enough. Let's go back to Hihibaru. Hey, how you doing? Judging by your expression, I take it you didn't learn much of use. Look, I'm sorry for my rudeness earlier, it's just that things are tough for us merchants at the moment. The Chakern raids are so constant, so organised, we're beginning to suspect that someone is orchestrating it all. I tend to put my own welfare first, like most of us do, but that doesn't mean I'm a bad person. 
I promise to keep an eye out for your masked man. If I see or hear anything, you'll be the first to know. Hey, thanks, Hiki. Oh, Hiki Baru has information that will surely lead to La Habrea, where there is smoke. I finally got some honest to God's information on your masked man. Why so confident? Because I saw him with my own two eyes. I was out for an evening stroll, minding my own business, when I noticed a column of smoke rising from a cliff over at Thal's Respite. Curious, I took myself there to find a masked man, your masked man, I'm sure of it, standing by a fire. As if in answer, some Chacon appeared soon after and the group began talking at length. I'm afraid I was too far out of earshot to hear much of anything. After the group had dispersed, an idea came to me. If you were to use this smouldering coal to start a fire, you might be able to arrange a similar meeting. It will be dangerous, I shouldn't doubt, but you've proven yourself more than a match for a pack of rats. So what do you think? That's some sound reliable information, even if I do say so myself. Well worth all the lingering about you've been doing, wouldn't you say? Yes, I'll give you some coin. Except the game hasn't got that programmed in. Alright, we are going to go and use this smouldering coal at the specified location. Come on, Rosalor, move your hoofs. Let's go. We're at level 42 now, radio. So everything here will leave us alone because it's not even over level 30. So we get a nice clean run through the zone. The other thing I want to do is check my, um, I don't know if it'll let me do it while I'm still running. Yeah. All right, so I only have level 29 gear at level 42. So I have an idea on how to fix that. We're going to have to go back to the um, to the flames for it. Um, unless I can find a way of making level 40 gear real quick. I hate those things. I <laughs> know. The birds. There we are. So our destination is up here. We're using a smouldering coal. Oh, I have a few things to do. Something tells me I could be in trouble though. I sense a hostile presence. Excellent, because my bunny's getting bored. Corpse Brigade Foot Soldier. Well, okay. Now now he's a... I cremated him. There we go. Cremate the Corpse Brigade. Or maybe I just buried him. What actually is that? That's, um... Uh, we do need to, to move a little bit along with this, though. Come along. Go for a sprint. It's a nice day for a run. I oh, know, I think my sprint is still faster than my Jacobo. Here we go. Ho, ho, ho. Cha cha mun. Mun, cha cha mun, probably. What are you doing up there? <laughs> oh, is that a real person, do you think? That cute. Their little archer levitating. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, do they... Oh, they vanished. I was going to say, do they have an adventure plate? That would be kind of funny. I don't know if they're a bot or not. Usually I, if I see alphabet salad I think they're a bot, but I don't know, maybe they're not. Maybe that's a real one. It's actually really quiet today though, I haven't seen a lot of adventurers around. Alright, back so soon. Were you able to find any clues leading to your masked man? Uh, yeah, I found a ward of the destroyer. Oh, this scroll, it bears a prayer to Ralga, the destroyer. 
In case you're unfamiliar, Relga is the guardian deity of Alamigo, which is currently under Galean rule. It is highly uncommon for folk of other nations to revere him. I'd wager my last skill that your assailant was Alamigan. It seems this masked man of yours is very well connected. I must confess, the merchant in me envies such a diverse network of contacts. That self-same merchant also senses danger ahead, and darkness besides. Are you certain you'd rather not take things nice and slow here at Highbridge? Aw, oh, thank you, but I'm okay. Oh, more? Hang on a minute. Oh, to little Alamigo. Hihibaru has a suggestion to help you with your investigation. The Alamigan bandit you had a run-in with is somehow connected to your masked man of mystery. So it stands to reason that if you want to pick up the little trail again, the trail again, you should head toward Little Alamigo over in southern Thanalan. Just so you know what to expect, the settlement is the favoured destination for those refugees who couldn't, well, adapt to life in Uldar. The hearts of the denizens are said to be as barren as the wasteland they live in, and all for intents and pur and for all intents and purposes, it is a lawless place. Be prepared for a not so warm welcome. Now I'm not certain how much help she'll be, but it just so happens I have a daughter who has um relocated to Little Alamigo. Her name is Hihira, and it shouldn't hurt to seek her out first. And while you have her attention, I'd be obliged if you could send my love. Not a day goes by that I don't think of her. I suppose it is, then, that I had hoped you would linger here a while, cult some fians, spend some coin, what have you, but something tells me you're destined for greater things, wherever it is you end up. I wish you the best. Alrighty, well, let's see if we can teleport to little Alamigo. Lucky, lucky. <clears throat> So what we're doing is we're zipping through quite a few of these these quests, although I, I just took a moment to have a look at uh, how many more there were. That there are there are more. Let's unlock the Chocobo Keep. Well met, Traveller. Might I interest you in the Chocobo Porter? Ah, do not tell me this is your first visit to this stop. I shall update my register with your name so that you may access this location in future. Looks like there's an opportunity. Oh, it's a lev. Oh no. <laughs> Esmond, the local LevQuest representative in Little Alamigo, is seeking an adventurer to undertake guild labs. Greetings and welcome to Little Alamigo. My name is Esmond and I represent the Adventurers Guild. The people here need any and all that help that happens their way. Might you have come to lend a hand? I can. And so you must first undertake a trial LevQuest to prove yourself capable of surviving the many terrors of Benalan. The task should serve as this task should serve as an adequate test. What say you, adventurer? Oh, I say I hate you very much. It has come to our attention that the corpse brigade may have acquired a copy of the necrologist thought to contain pages on the deadly void scent known as Voderiga. The corpse brigade will only use this knowledge to further their nefarious scheme, so it is imperative that the book is retrieved, its pages destroyed, and the creature trapped within sent back into the furthest reaches of the void. Alrighty. Be warned that the Void Scent will tear free of its prison once all the pages have been assembled. Prepare yourself well. Oh, this is actually different to the quest I was expecting. Uh, yes, we need to go down the tunnel. Uh, and I do have one more adventure to pick up over here. Let's go get that. So this is one of the reasons why I tend to level out before I actually get to the end. is because I do all of the side quests that I can. It doesn't stop more from appearing later, but it does get rid of the ones that are there now. Annabelle the of the Immortal Flames has a task for a stalwart adventurer. Adventurer, I would have your ear. Have you perchance visited the ruins south of here? It is said they date back to the era of the Belartians. As a student of history, I was delighted when my superiors sent me there on patrol. My delight soon turned to dread, however, when I discovered the terrible truth. These ruins are haunted. Yes, you heard me right. Spectres of Balatia haunt the place to this day, and my limited training has hardly prepared me to face such horrors. Would you be so obliging as to take this holy water and shepherd the lost souls to Thal's realm? Sure, no problems. Flame Sergeant, who outranks me and is a chicken. 
I know what, disrespectful. No. No, just, you know. Yes, disrespectful. Amalot. What's your poison? Amalot needs something and needs it now. Adventurer, I fear I have no time for pleasantries, but I'd be much in your debt if you could perform for me one simple task. To wit, I need you to slay a rock-skinned pasty and obtain for me a secretion of its poison. If you've seen one of those fearsome reptiles, as I reckon you have, you know what their scales are as hard as iron, a hard as solid stone. This acid I give you, however, will cut right through it. I haven't much, so pray use it well. Some of my countrymen are not quick to trust outsiders, but I've no time to entertain such foolish prejudices. This is a matter of life and death. Right. Hahira, your father said I should speak with you. Huh? Why, yes, Hihibaru's my father. He said what? <sighs> I wish I could be a better daughter to him. It's just that... I'm sorry, I shouldn't bother you with family matters, but I'm grateful to you for delivering the message. Now then, what brings you here? A masked man? I'm afraid the description doesn't ring any bells, but one of the others here may have seen something. I would recommend you first speak with Gun Gundabold, the leader of the settlement. I must warn you, though, he isn't exactly accommodating to outsiders. So, Gundabald, what trouble do you have for me? Uh-oh. That looks like trouble. Who are you? State your business and be quick about it. Looking for a masked villain, you say? And why should we help you, pray? We struggle enough without having to answer the whim of every outsider. You're not welcome here. Be gone. Ah, uh, right. Okay. I love you too. Uh, hmm. Okay, Hahira, I think you might have a quest. Hahira would seek your help in her attempt to provide aid to the refugees. Friend, hear my plea. As you've no doubt observed, many poor souls in this camp suffer from afflictions most grievous. Indeed, it is to deliver them succour that I have made the journey here from Ulda. And yet I fear that my efforts thus far have been for naught. The residents are most distrustful of outsiders, particularly those hailing from Ulda. They look upon my medicine as if it were poisoned. Were an adventurer such as yourself to deliver the elixir, perhaps you would be willing, they would be willing to accept it. I've no one else to turn to. Will you go in my stead? Sure thing. Let me just check my quest log. Okay, I've got room for six more, and then we better get serious about, um, about solving them. Let's go and see what this interesting little shield is about. Beryl. Oh, yes. <coughs> he throat it burns! I've got some medicine. Medicine, you say? <coughs> I'd sooner drink sandworm piss than that old darn swill. <gasps> uh, right, I don't think I'm going to be a very good delivery mechanism. Let's, um, I don't know, see what other trouble we can get into. Uh, radio. Ooh, well, um, this looks promising. I'll talk to Gazilbert. Zilber would like to aid in your manhunt in T for three. Well met, adventurer. I'm Gisilbert, head of security here at Little Alamigo. I heard tell you had business with Gundabald. Knowing that bristly old bear, I don't doubt he told you to bugger off. Owing to their hardships, the refugees don't trust anyone but themselves. Not even my men and I can get so much as a word of thanks out of them, despite watching the place day and night. But thanks or no, I try to help my fellow man when I can, and you seem a decent sort. If you tell me what's brought you here, might be as I can lend a hand. On the trail of a masked villain, you say? Hmm, can't say that sounds familiar, but I have men on lookout for a Muljaar to the south of here. If there's been suspicious activity, they're like to have seen it. I don't mind to take them each a cup of sweet Thanlan tea, so as to lift their spirits. If you were to run this little errand in my stead, they'd be all the more willing to tell you what they know. Man, he is a good commander, isn't he? I know, spoiling his men rotten. Uh, let's go this, yes, definitely this way. This way and up the slope here. Because I bet they're awkward little bunnies and they're hiding up here. 
Now, is that a gate? No, that's not a gate over there. Radio. Let's talk to a Talon. <gasps> I can't breathe. Um, I've got some medicine for you. Ah, oh, another phony elixir cooked up by those <gasps> all darn quacks. Be gone from my sight. Uh, hmm, Arcavius? What is it, outsider? Come to mock us in our suffering. Go ahead and laugh. Laugh at your heart to your heart's content. Uh, I know I came to give you medicine. That's what I think of you, outsiders, and your medicine. I'd rather die with dignity than owe my life to older. Oh, well, you're an idiot. Um. Wouldn't owe your life to older. You'd just get better and you'd be able to fight for your own causes even more effectively. I don't see what your... Okay, I do see what your problem is, but anyway. Right, there's my gate. I've got to remember that thing's there. It's kind of handy to have around. Um... Okay, map. Lev quest. Where am I? I don't need to go out that gate. Radio. I do need to go back to the main cavern though. Here we go, little Alamigo question. Um, that's possibly not the door you're looking for. Alrighty. Um, oh, I need to go and see, um, this young lady in here. I like Dizzlebert. He helps me um, work out where I am in this in this little tiny cave system, which I always get lost in. Hey, Hera, we had a problem. No luck, I see. <sighs> Take heart, friend. You did what you could. Age-old wounds are not healed so easily, but I must not give up this cause. No, you mustn't. High potion for hit points and ether for... I know, I'm torn between the two. We'll, we'll alternate. Prickly patience. A hero wonders if there might be another remedy the refugees might accept. After giving the matter some thought, it has struck me that perhaps it is not me that the refugees distrust, but rather the medicine itself. The Alamegans are wary of outsiders, this is true, yet I suspect it is the thought of ingesting an alchemical concoction of Uldar that makes the fr that fr of all darn make, that frightens them most of all. A naive girl's wishful thinking, perhaps, but it is the only hope I have. There's a kindly old refugee by the name of Alphan, the only one thus far to accept my treatment. Might you speak with him and ask if there is any truth to my theory? I might indeed. Let's go find your Alphan, shall we? Looks like there's another sprout around. Well, there was. Maybe that was just my sproutiness I saw. Let's go talk to Alphan. And it looks like my boost has run out too. Hail there, young one. What brings one as hale and hearty as yourself to this godforsaken place? Ah, a hero. In the years I've seen many an outsider come and go, but none quite like that girl. I don't begrudge me countrymen their judgments, of course. Gods know they've seen old Dunn at its worst. But it's clear even to me clouded old eyes that the girl means well, and I can't bring myself to scorn her good intentions. But forgive me, you were asking about medicine, were you not? We Alamegans aren't much for alchemy, but you got our fair share of remedies passed down through the years. Steep the fruit of a sabbath tender in hot water, for instance, and you get a tea that'll soothe the worst of fevers. Call it an old man's hunch, but I have a feeling that even the most stubborn of me countrymen will gladly down a cup of cactus tea, even if it were the old darn lass who did the brewing. Alright. Um. I need to go get some sabotenders. The sabotenders and I have business to speak of. Rightio, let's start nailing down some of these quests. Clear our quest log, we're up to 25. I know, that does not give me much space to do stuff. Alrighty, we're not going to slay potter wasps. We're going to go after these poor, innocent little sabotenders. The bunny's with me. Let's do some unexpected damage.
Let's upset another Sabatender. We have one fruit. Alrighty, looks like I can parboil some of the fruit myself. Go get him, fire fruit. Oh, you've upset the Sabatender, I see. Never mind, I'll fry him myself. That's a Sabatender... Well, I don't know, why don't we just take it out as well, because it's there. <laughs> oh, not in range. Now you tell me. Go get him, bunny. I know, I just sat there and stared at that. Do some unexpected damage, get out of his blast radius, because ow, that would have hurt. Even me. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, again. Not that it matters. Bunny, what are you waiting for? Thank you. Go get him. Is that a faint over there? Well, we best get into that then. My challenge log said I had a few. Six or more levels, violent sand skin Paishkis. Well, I'm probably not going to get very far with it, but let's go anyway. Oh, not in line of sight. Well, now they are. Unfortunately, I think I'm in line of sight with them as well. Ah, oh, Bunny. Bunny, where'd you go? And rude, that rabbit has abandoned me again. Take on the next one. Oh, whoops. I've, oh, I, I've irritated quite a few things. Oh my. Not quite what I intended. <laughs> now I'm in trouble. We, we do need to get rid of this Sabatender before he, he peppers us with a bunch of things. Alrighty, this, this time we'll make sure that the um, that the thing has targeted what we wanted it to target. Go get him, Bonnie. that do again. Next spell is cut. I need to do a lot more of those. Um, I know, clearly I'm not ready for a dungeon yet. Alright, now, did that count? We leveled up, I know, I was afraid of that. Did that count towards our challenge log of fates? Yes, highest rating possible, there we go. As you can see though, it did give us some XP. Um, which is kind of nice of it. Now this over here... Okay, that's the uh, medicine maker that we're needing to go to. I need to just make sure I've got... Yes, what's your poison? Use the Leformic Acid and slay a rock skin Paish tea. Let's go. Bunny, get him. Oh my god, that thing is huge. 
Do I hit it with a nine? Nine, please. Thank you. And ten. And get out of there. I don't know what the minus does. We're going to try that too. I know, it's a matter of getting used to my... Oh no, that was silly. And a ten. And a one. And a minus. Oh, that's what I did last time, and it's that's actually a radio effect, and that's why I had uninvited guests to my fight. And I've been forgetting to use my poison. I'm about to get paralyzed. Oh no. Okay, and as you can see, my things are much more effective. Ow. Radio. We have done our lev quest. No, we have done our whatever that was for. Let's check our map. Alright, so we have a couple of things to do down here. Where's my Jacobo? It'll be a bit quicker, hopefully, if I use that. Alright, let me go this way. See, we could quickly duck inside and just nail down those two quests and get them out of the way because there's like a gate right here so we might do that Hira a traditional alamegan remedy made from steeping the fruit of the sabatender in hot water well I had no idea I owe Althan my gratitude there you go One, two, three cups of cactus tea. Oh, I do hope I've not overbrewed this. Please, friend, deliver the tea to the suffering refugees. I will certainly do that for you. I also need to speak to Amalot. Your return, adventurer. Have you brought me the poison I see? I certainly did. On behalf of my countrymen, you have my thanks. Forgive me for my brusqueness before. Our skirmishes with the corpse brigade have taken a great toll on us of late. They employ poisons ever more lethal, and our antidote stores were running low. I must attend to my potion brewing, but thank you, outsider. Because of you, the men and women of the Resistance live to fight another day. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, poisoning potion, huh? Uh-oh. Amalot would ask another favour of you, in death from above. Thank you for your kindness, outsider. I would ask you to help our suffering people once more. A most deathly strain of fever runs rampant in that little Alamigo of late, and while I have, success, have been, succeeded in isolating the cause, I'm powerless to remedy it. The fever is borne by an elusive breed of wasp, you see. Only by exterminating the pest may we put an end to the epidemic. It would seem the wasps have drawn up to the pungent scent of rotting carrion. Douse this cactus piss over the carcasses of some unfortunate creatures, and they should quickly swarm to the scene. Uh, sure, I will join your free company. Hmm, <laughs> that's funny. Okay. And let me go. We're going to talk to Berold. Wee, me throat it. You again? I told you I'd sooner drink. It is that cactus tea I smell. Well, stop dawdling and hand it over. Can't you see I'm <laughs> suffering here? Let's wave to these guys. Alrighty. And where are we at? The Grand, um, I think, is one of the... Like, we see them everywhere we go. We see them. Uh, so we'll, we'll see. They look like a really active guild. Free company. I'll get there eventually. Alright. Uh, upstairs, wasn't it? Let's go. Ottolin. Uh, <coughs> you tell that old darn witch that I'll have none of her foul alchemy. Ah, uh, no. That's why she made you some of this. There you go. Cactus tea? 
And just like my dear mum used to. <coughs> Pruitt, I don't know where you came by this, but you're a godsend. Well, you know that old darn lass that you are hating on? Yeah, she did that for you. Oh, I'll go to the grave before I'm gold by old darn quackery. Hmm, how about some nice alamegan quackery? Hey, how about this? Old Alphonse's recipe, no doubt. I'll drink it, but if the old darn girl thinks a cup of tea can heal years of suffering, she best think again. Well, I think she just wants to heal you, not years of suffering. You know, you should be nicer to her. She's doing her best. Oh, I don't know. And against great odds, too. Let's toddle down this way. So, tea for three. I believe I owe some soldiers some tea. Let's, um, must be a day for it. Let's go and report to Hihira about her prickly patience. We'll get that quest off our thing. There we go. A hero. They truly drank it? Oh, how I've waited for this day. Even I'm not so foolish as to think I've earned the trust of all the refugees. But on the long road to peace and understanding, even the smallest step matters. It sure does. There we go. Alrighty, let us... Oh no, I've got to go and beat up some wasps, I think, is out this way. It feels really weird seeing a um a grand company um thing. You know the good thing though, at least at least this time we're not gonna have um you know everyone leave and then have to dissolve it. Oh, that is such a good feeling. Alrighty. Let's go with I think it's the rotting meat, isn't it? The fetid no, that's hunger is the best source. We're looking for death from above. All right. Oh, cactus piss. Yep. Let's use that and get ready to fight. Oh my god, a deafening buzz. Get it, bunny. And we'll do some unexpected damage and we'll hit it with that. And I'll do some more of this, because I've got to practice using this. I should also be practicing this. Uh, that's... Oh, good. <laughs> that worked. Uh, oh, look, there's another one. Fry, fry them. Do they like being fried? I don't know, let's find out. Fried bugs. Uh, I was about to say yum yum, but ew, maybe not. I know, I, I can hear the pitter-patter of the little sabatender feet. It makes me really nervous, even though I know that they're, um... Yeah, that they're not, um... Let's go with this. That they're not going to chase me because I'm too high a level for them to mess with. Oh. I thought I'd try hitting the right button this time. There we go. Because I don't really want to reset my rabbit. It's not done yet. What are we doing? Use cactus piss and slay insects. Slay potter wasp swarms. Two of four. What's this? Um. Death from above. Okay, so I do need, do need to use my cactus petal again. Let's go. I don't even want to know how they thought about gathering that. Maybe they just found little pools of ook in the desert. Uh, tab that and grab that. Maybe hit an 8, and then hit a 3, and then hit a 9. I know one day I'll learn how to play this game. And then hit a 1. Then we'll grab that one as well. Oops, I probably should hit a 3. Let's try that. And control 2 and a 3. Uh, maybe a 10. Oh, no. Okay, maybe not. You know what? We're really close to... Why do I have to murder these again? Oh, okay, because I just have to murder them. That's fine. Let's go with this. It's it, because it's in the list. It's in the list. We're good. I know, she's way overpowered for this. It looks like they're doing a, a company clean out. Oh, 
Oh, okay. They're letting me know it's a company clean out. That, that, was, that was what that word clean was for. A clean, don't worry about it. Other words, we're not... Yeah, it's basically people who haven't played for yonks or have, who may have left the game. Yeah. Who the hells are you? I'm trying to conserve energy here, so leave me alone. Well, your captain or your sergeant said you need some of this. Why? You consider it. My thanks, friend. Well, what's that? A master villain hiding among the refugees, like as not. Me compatriots, as Livia, go about as though they're dead on their feet. It's near impossible to tell what's on their minds. For all I know, they're all up to no good. Well, there's a man with a jaded view on the world. <laughs> oh, I know, right? All right, let's see how long we've got this going. Uh, no, no, I'm trying to... All right, I'll stop being lazy. I'll open this up and zoom in. Okay, it's not going to show me. Because it's another fate and we do need to do another one, right? Flame Scout. Please, you must help me. I've been hunted by the Ameljar, and if they catch me, they will kill me. You see, I was tasked with infiltrating Zahar Zanrak and stealing their battle plans, but I was caught and taken to the Bowl of Embers for tempering. However, I managed to escape when the carriage transporting me and the other slaves slipped off the road. Though I've had somewhat of a head start, it took their battle drakes little time to pick up my scent, and now a party of them is only a matter of miles away. I must get to the Etherite a little Alamigo, so I might relay my findings to the Flame Commander. I do not believe I'll make it on my own. Yeah, let's go. All right, what are we doing? I have to escort this nice man and try not to let him get killed. Uh, may have circled ahead. You don't say. Oh, okay. He'd like me to go on ahead so I get nabbed first. Sure thing. <laughs> oh, there they are. Let's go. Oh, my levels to what? I know, rude. <laughs> Make sure your levels sink before you start a fate where you don't want the person with you to get killed. <laughs> hey, don't run on ahead, you daft Bridget. Come here. I know, he, he's walking like he's got his knickers in a twist. And he probably has, given that he's not feeling too great and he's being hunted by a vicious amount of R. Smack you. There you go. Leave my, my, my flame scout alone. You mean, mean monster, you. Are those my fake guys? Oh, no, they are my fake guys. No, no, stop. And you. You're not supposed to be picking a fight, you crazy lunatic. I know, because I don't want to hit one of those fallen soldiers because they'll nail me. Uh -oh. Little Alamigo is close, but I... Yeah, you're right, you got bad feeling. I did look at him, you can tell he's, he's a soldier. He's just like, get me to safety, I need help. Oh wait, there's a fight, let me go pick it. I know, these buttons are going to get me killed. This is why I haven't volunteered to go into a dungeon yet. Because... Ah! Stop it! Because... I'm, my buttonology sucks. Um... Wait, where are you going, troublemaker? I know, we're looking for more trouble. I mean, we've got enough trouble walking right beside us. Yes. Alrighty. Did that count towards our challenge log? We did good. Okay. Alright, be happy. I guess while we're this close, we might as well deliver whatever it is we're supposed to deliver to this cave. Death from above. Port to Amalot. Oh, you know what? No. I feel like going to deliver the lookout to the teak. Oh, where are you going, you lunatic? I just got you back. Oh, man. I don't think he even went to see his sergeant. I think he's just out there testing adventurers for um, for integrity or something like that. I've 
done a great service for Uldar. Yes, I saved a scout with a death wish. I don't get it. Alrighty. Let me take this tea to these guys, and then I think we best return to Alami little Alamigo for and finish off the other quest before we finish for the day. You there. Are you an Amalja? Ah, no, then carry on. Uh, yes, I will carry on and give you your tea. Here you go. Ah, this unsophisticated aroma. It's been forever since I had a drop of sweet Thanalan. I'm going to enjoy this. What? A masked man? Don't know. Don't care. Unless he's got dark scaly skin, stands ten forms tall, and is the face of a lizard. Then I don't give a mama's fart. Right then. Well, um, you know, at least he's blunt and pretty honest about how he feels. Don't waste my time. I have real duty to attend to, little person. Okay. Have your tea. Might sweeten your temper. Yayazuku, how you doing? Shoo, shoo, don't bother me. If the Amelja are, mar if the Amelja are overrun us, I'm blaming you. Uh, I'm sorry to obstruct your view. Have some tea. You look like you need it. For me? You shouldn't have. Sorry, a suspicious masked man. As a matter of fact, I caught a glimpse of someone fitting that description during patrol. Well, I couldn't quite make out whether it was a man or not, what with the mask and the robe, but assuming it was a he, he was taking, talking with some Alamegans. I assumed he was one of them. Right. Good info, thank you. Let me just check. I know it is tempting to go to bigger than life, but actually that's a level 46 fate and we might just get our tails handed to us. I could do with an episode where I don't actually die. You know, little one. Let's go deliver on our um on our missions. Oh, come on, Rosalor. Will you quit taking your time in the hot desert sun? I oh, know, so we've got one of our hunt targets taken care of, and in doing so we ended up... Uh, and we've we've taken down a current, a current main scenario quest, a few of our main scenario quests as well. We, we do have, I think, about 20 or 30 of them to go, so <laughs> don't get too excited. Um, and we probably won't be a summoner by the time we get there. That's fine. Dizzlebert. Ah, you're back. So did my lookouts have aught to share with you? Hmm, that doesn't sound like much to go by. If you're to get any further in your investigation, seems to me you'll need the cooperation of the Alamegans. For this, you'll need to win their trust, and that won't be an easy task. Really? You say that like I don't know it. Uh, Disciple of War. All classes. Vitality, Intelligence, Direct Hit Rate. That is a big drop, though. Um... Oh, I don't know. Let's see if that fits any of our, our people. Ooh, our next main story quest. Put in the door. It's better than a fit elsewhere. Yes, Albert would offer you some advice regarding your investigation. So you're determined to press on with your investigation? Then I have some advice to offer. As I said before, you won't go far without the Alamegan's trust. And the best way to kick that, uh, to win that trust is to get a compatriot of theirs. Someone they respect to vouch for you. Coin does the talking in Uldar, but the Alamegans are bound by something far stronger, if not as tangible, a common purpose. That purpose is, of course, the liberation of their home from the Galeans. Gudobald belongs to the Alamegan resistance, so your best bet would be someone who's part of the same crew. If you know any well-connected people, you might want to start by asking them. Man, I don't know anybody in here. All right, except there's this medic down here who does nice work, and maybe maybe she will be a good way. Amelot, hello. Thank you, friend. With the wasps gone, it's only a matter of time before the epidemic subsides. You may be an outsider, but you've brought more succor to my people in a day than I have in many a month. We are a humble people. I have not the means to properly express my gratitude. It may not mean much, but know always that you have a friend in little Alamigo. Hey, thank you. Critical hit, vitality, determination. Here we go, some spell speed food. Oh, which reminds me, I haven't eaten. Let's, um... Well, let's finish off the dried plums, and then we'll start on the pancakes. 
I know, nothing like feeding your adventurer. Uh, right, well that was that done. What are we doing? Hmm. We have 11 minutes. It's very tempting, but do you know what? I think we may have to just leave this episode here. If you guys have enjoyed it so far, please hit like. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe. And once I get back out to this stone, which I need to set as my home point, I'm going to bid you adieu. There we go. Alright guys, I'll check you later. Take care out there.